panel of experts appointed to review Singapore's flood protection measures submitted its report today among its recommendations to mitigate the effects of flooding, introducing new regulations for buildings and improving road infrastructure. It's also proposed that National Water Agency, PUB, collect better data on Singapore's drainage system. Evelyn Chu with more. After six months of deliberation, the conclusion was that Singapore has been highly impacted by urbanization, and the panel has proposed to introduce a regulation for new buildings to install features to cope with heavy rainfall. This could come in the form of retaining water on rooftops or detention ponds on the ground. The recommendations about introducing requirements with new development to mitigate the potential impact on flood risk um, would be a sensible thing to move forward on relatively quickly. There are other interventions um, around the source which we could look at potentially at retrofitting within the short term. Now one idea is to make pavements like this one more porous so that some water can seep in and not all of it would rush into the canals. This would in turn delay and manage surface runoff. The more major infrastructure works, however, require complex modeling that reveal the flow of water, and these will take a longer time to plan. The key is to start collecting more accurate data on water drainage. So what you do in the past, you do your flight um, aircraft, you know, you're taking air photos, sterile pair, and you do measurements based on that. But see, that is not good enough for planning for drains. You want to plan for drains, understand what's going on, you need to down to about 10 centimetres. So we are saying that in order for you to do good modelling uh, of the water flow uh, on the surface in Singapore, then you need to have that level of accuracy, which means that you have to invest in measuring uh, the, the grounds. The recommendations were made in light of the Stamford Canal, Orchard Road's main waterway, which the panel says no longer has the capacity to drain away the volume of rainfall generated by the two storms in June 2010 and 2011.